Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here, and today, you know, the trade deadline for the MLB is tomorrow. A lot of things happening today, a lot of more rumors coming out, a lot of teams saying, hey, we've decided to keep this player, and in today's video, we are talking about Shohei Otani again. A lot of rumors about him, but before we get started, hit that subscribe button for more content over all the world of sports. So, like I said, Shohei Otani, Angels have decided to stop listening to offers, and they are going to keep Shohei. Uh, Yankees were among the teams to make an offer. Padres were rumored to be in it. Same with the Brewers, or not the Brewers, the Braves, sorry. Uh, which probably ultimately led the Padres to make that blockbuster deal with the Brewers. If you haven't seen that, that's on the channel. Uh, this is... You know, they probably knew what they wanted for Shohei. Nothing matched it. They might as well just keep the guy. He's an unbelievable player. For reigning MVP. You gotta get what he's worth. And a lot of teams probably couldn't put up enough to acquire him. It was probably nearly impossible. Uh, one name that we keep an eye on through this is Juan Soto. Maybe was the Nats involved in a ball, Juan Soto trick. plus more to get Shohei Otani? Never know. But the Angels have came out today and said, hey, we're done listening to offers. We are keeping Otani. Nothing intrigued us enough to actually keep talks going. Which, you know, they listened. It's not like their superstar player wasn't available and they didn't listen to offers. They Got tried it. to do what was best for the team. And ultimately, you know, teams probably underbid them. Like, knowing the Yankees, they probably weren't giving up near as much as they probably would have wanted to. But they're going for a World Series. They can't give up pieces like Labor Torres and all hey. those guys to try and get Shohei Otani, which would have been really good for them. But if you have to move, say, three starters for one starter, it's not, it doesn't make sense in the mind of a lot of teams. And that's probably what the Angels were looking for in a guy like Shohei that can do both. No, the hall's bigger than it was for Josh Hader. Or it's going to be for Juan Soto if the Nats decide to trade for them. Uh, Otani is only 28 too, and he has in trenched in the trade hey. talks due to the l performance of the Angels. The Angels are literally 43 and 59. They are sitting second last in the American League West. You got two of the best players on the planet in the oh, MLB in Otani and Trout and you haven't been plus 500 in how many years? It is insane what the Angels have and can't do anything with. It's I don't even know what to say. Otani has a record of 9 of 6. You take that off. So the Angels, after taking Otani's record off, is 34 oh, and 53. I'm sorry, Otani can't pitch every day. He just can't. It'd be nice if pitchers could pitch every day because then, like, the teams like the Blue Jays would just go, hey, Gosman, Manoa, Barreos. Gosman, Manoa, Barreos. The Angels would go, Otani, 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 and maybe throw in Noah Syndergaard in there at one point. But, like I said, you know, the Angels have came out, told teams, hey, thanks for taking the time to offer us stuff, but we're decided to keep him, and Otani has been arguably the best angel in the last two years. I'm sorry. I know they got Mike Trout, but Mike Trout's 17 games slump or, or he went 1-17. and 17. You know, Trout is up and down right now and non-consistent and he has that back hey. issue that was reported. Otani stepped in and he's trying to do whatever he can, but he has no help. He can't hit four home runs a game, pitch a game, and win the game for you. Well, he probably could, but it's highly unlikely that ever happens. Now, Otani has a record of 9-6, and six, 
so far this season in 99 and one-thirds innings pitched, recording 145 strikeouts and an ERA of 281 while batting 255 with 22 home runs. Batting average is kind of low, but the guy's pitching 2.81. That's his ERA, and he's only 9 and 6? Clearly, he's not getting run support from the rest of the Angels. Do you blame the guy? F Do you blame the Angels for testing the market? If you're trying to rebuild your team, you got to give up your best player to get three good players in return to actually maybe make you over 500 for once. You know, the next... Is Trout maybe next to get in the trade rumors? Oh. Is the off season where they're going to go, hey, Shohei Otani is available. Here we go. And wipe their hands and say, thanks for doing so well in Los Angeles. We let you down. I hope wherever you land is is worth it. Like, hope you That's excel cool. there as good as you did here because... Right now, the Angels need to either build around Otani and Trout or just get rid of Otani and possibly Trout and just start a whole big rebuild. That counts one and one. You can't play under 500 ball. You're going to get no fans in the stands, and then everything's going to go on. You have two of the arguably the best players oh. in baseball. Like, yeah, there's Judge and stuff. Like, two of the top five, let's say that, in baseball, and you can't have a 500 record. Angel, if anyone on the Angels sees this, get your front office to do something. Like, this is sad as I feel bad for Angel fans. Yes, they get to see Trout and Otani, but they want to see them win, not lose more games than they play. So, that's the video today is... Otani and the Angels well the Angels have decided Otani is going to stick with the Angels at oh, this deadline what? you know that could change one team could just come in and offer their whole farm system if they really wanted but that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll catch you on the next one